Hey guys, welcome to Game Jam, and today we are testing out Hook 3.0 on the PTR server. I've got some awesome testers here with me, and let me take a look at Jeff Goodman's post here. Uh, basically, the scrap gun uh, spread has been decreased by 20%. Targets are pulled in to 3.5 meters instead of 2, and the cooldown has been increased from 6 seconds to 8 seconds. Now, the increase in the cooldown is not that big a deal. It just means that you have to be more careful about using your hooks. Uh, but let's talk about whether we can kill characters at 3.5 meters. So first, a demonstration of what 3.5 meters looks like. That's what it looks like. Now, 2 meters is about, uh, I think about there. That's where I kind of lined it up. That's just an approxima approximation. But the idea is the spread of the gun being decreased should make it so that we can kill the same characters that we can kill before. So we're going to go through the characters and give it a try. And starting with Symmetra, you see right off the bat, I already start to have some issues. Uh, what I ended up finding out was aiming at the head, I thought was the best option. But what I f ended up finding out here is that if I aim a little bit lower, it seemed to work out better. So here it is again. I, I missed that shot. But I come back and do it again. We tried again. That didn't work. Uh, but when I start aiming lower, I'm st I get more consistent with landing the symmetric kills. I, I swear I do it, right? I think it should be here. No, no, no. Okay, well, th this is part of the problem with, with, the, with the new spread of the gun. It's technically a smaller spread, and technically you should still work the same way. But in practice, it, it's still a little inconsistent. So I ended up, I did end up figuring out how to get Symmetra dead. But uh, what about the other characters? Oh, well, first, before Not we go to, that, go to that, let's talk about Symmetra with a shield generator. We just want to see whether there's a way for me to kill it, kill her with the shield generator on. And although I am able to knock her down to Ooh, 50 close, health, though. she still uh, she still lived through it. We tried it a few times and pretty much came to the conclusion if there's a shield generator on, I will not be killing yeah, Symmetra. Though, she left. is in a precarious position. Then we moved on to Anna, because Anna, of course, has always been a problem. Uh, so we tried out the hook here. And even without moving forward, I was able to land a kill, which was pretty good. But then suddenly, I started having the same issues again, where... I thought I was aiming correctly, everything looked fine, and the hook would not do enough damage. That being said, if you walk forward after doing the hook and with a little bit of practice, you should be able to take out Anna. But now that brings up Bastion. So if you didn't know, there are quite a number of significant changes to Bastion, uh, but one of the very important changes that happened to the turret mode is that he now has a major armor reduction, and not to mention the fact that with his small hitbox, when the character's only pulled in 3.5 meters instead of 2, it is now a lot harder to land a headshot. And if he is ulting, it's practically impossible for you to kill Bastion. Um, so here's, here's me doing this over and over again. Essentially, Bastion is now a very... You're not going to one-shot him, and it will take multiple shots. Which brought us to the question, is what happens if he was nano-boosted while ulting? Dude, just look. <laughs> I'm firing, and firing, and firing, and I haven't even made it, I didn't even make it through the armor before the ult ran out. So, if you see a nano-boosted ulting Bastion, just run. Up next is uh, Sombra here. Sombra was a uh, pretty easy kill, so it's not really that important. Uh, so was Reaper. I think I missed Reaper one or two times, but mostly it was a pretty easy shot. Which brings us up to May. Dun dun dun. Can you guess which of the four videos ends up in a kill shot? Looking at it from my experience, they, they look like they all should be kill shots or mostly should be kill shots. Uh, and this is again part of the problem. I didn't feel like there was a easy way to aiming, like I couldn't tell where I was supposed to aim to get the kill. And so when you're, what you're gonna watch here is what happens is that two of these are gonna be kills and two of these aren't gonna be kills. So I don't know what to say about that. It's it works. It's just it may can be killed with one shot. Where to aim? Uh, it's difficult in a, in, a, in a game. I don't know how you're gonna do it. One. So the last of the video is just trying out a few different myths. Uh, one is that Mercy is now invulnerable during the revive, which we found out is true. 
Uh, so then we tried out uh, what happens if you hack somebody while they're in the mid middle of being hooked or if uh, you do it right at the beginning of the hook. And as it turns out, the hook will still go out anyways. See, the hacking yeah, didn't help. pulls all the way. Finally, two road, uh, the question was whether two Roadhogs could hook the same target, and it looks like they can. Uh, I want to give a shout-out again to uh, awesome testers here, Bounty Z and Sheriff. They were terrific to work with, and hopefully we can do it more frequently in the future. Uh, also, obviously, I'm doing a new style where I'm doing a lot more open dialogue for you guys. I'm hoping that lets you guys see more of the gameplay and is a little bit more, a little bit easier to understand what I'm talking about as opposed to doing so many cuts. Uh, so thank you for watching, and if you really like what you're seeing here, make sure to like this video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, and also, if you guys have ideas for something you want me to see myth tested in the future, let me know, and I will do my best to test it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah.